NFL star Tom Brady and supermodel Giselle Bündchen are probably one of the most known celebrity couples out there. They're beautiful, talented, and talked about. And sometimes that talk isn't so nice. It seems that the star couple is having some marital problems. Of course, this became a major talking point for gossip magazines. But even golf star Paige Spiranak can keep her mouth shut on this problem. Let's find out what she's been saying. First up, she seemed confused by Brady's decision to return to the field. Spiranak addressed the rift between the couple on her podcast, Around with Paige Renee. It seems that Brady and Bunchen are going through a rough patch in their marriage. The tabloid Page Six reported that the supermodel was unhappy with the quarterback's decision to unretire and return for yet another season with the NFL. The former golfer is one of the most influential sports analysts in the game today, so her giving an opinion on Tom Brady and Giselle Bunchen's marriage woes is not that surprising, especially considering that it's been a pretty significant story over the past couple of weeks. But what did catch some folks off guard, however, was just how brutal Sparanak's take on the news was. The golf influencer did not hold back on her podcast in the past week. The 29-year-old said she was a bit confused by Brady's decision to unretire. She went on to say that the situation with the Brady Bunch is so bad that Giselle has actually left the house and she's taken the kids with her. And that's because she is terribly frustrated with the fact that he chose to unretire. Apparently, he isn't doing his fatherly duties, and clearly, some promises have been broken. Not to mention, this isn't the first time she's picked on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers quarterback. Earlier this year, he announced that he would be retiring from the National Football League. At the time, he said the game required 100% commitment, and at that stage in his life, he wanted to spend more time with his wife and their three children. Soon after the announcement, the ex-golfer Spiranak took a dig at the football player's greatest of all time status, bringing up his wife in the conversation. She said he wasn't even the GOAT in his own house, let alone the NFL. Spiranak went on to say that it was, in fact, his wife who was the boss around the house. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but that's what we think, not the brazen podcaster and YouTuber. That said, Bunchen is possibly the modeling world's GOAT. She is one of the highest paid models in the world and has played a crucial role in revolutionizing the industry itself. In the same podcast, she said that the GOAT was former NBA player Michael Jordan. But is it fair to compare apples and oranges? The fact of the matter is that when you think of the NFL, Brady will be one of the most legendary players of all time. Let's take a look at the rumors circulating around Brady's marriage. While Paige Sparanak may have been a bit harsh in commenting about his marriage, the truth is she isn't just making it all up. There is trouble in paradise at the Brady household, and it's been there for quite some time. Although Brady returned to the NFL just 40 days after announcing his retirement, it remains to be seen whether marriage woes will affect what could be his last season in the NFL. People Magazine reported that his wife is frustrated with his decision to unretire, and this comes from multiple sources. The 42-year-old supermodel has definitely been spending time away from her husband. The fact that he went back to Tampa after committing to her that he was retiring has put a severe strain on their personal life. It seems that Giselle is sick and tired of him choosing his career over his family. It seems like she is at the enough is enough stage. The couple has two children, Benjamin Rain, 12, and Vivian Lake, 9, along with Brady's son, John Edward, 14, whom he shares with his ex, Bridget Moynihan. But this isn't the first time they've spent time away from each other because the marriage was rocky. But the same sources confirmed that they're both working on making the relationship work. Ideally, we want a situation where the marriage works out and the family is happy and the Buccaneers win with Brady on board too. Here's to hoping. Moving on, why did Brady even come back from retirement? It seems that the quarterback realized that his place is still on the field. Frankly, we agree. He said that the time for him to be in the stands will come soon, but it wasn't that time just yet. He went on to explain that he loves his teammates and his family, with a special shout out to this family for being always supportive and making his success possible. He said this as he announced that he would be returning for his 23rd season in Tampa. As the 45-year-old returns to the Bucks, he will be the oldest NFL player on the field. We supposed he just wasn't ready to hang up those boots just yet. Lastly, let's see what's next for Tom Brady. The first thing we know is that whenever he retires, he's got a job waiting for him. Fox Corporation CEO Lachlan Murdoch confirmed that whenever Brady is done playing, he will become their next NFL analyst. We suppose this will still give him more time to spend with his family. 
With a career spanning over 20 years, Brady has played in 10 Super Bowls and has won seven of the championship games he's been a part of. He's also been named the Super Bowl's most valuable player five times and the regular season MVP award three times, as well as being a part of the conference championship 14 times. We can't imagine the NFL games without him. Now, let's look at more news from the NFL. First up, the Texans want to increase Damon Pierce's workload, even though there was so much hype about him. He had a bit of a slow start in the season opener. He even took a backseat to Rex Burkhead in the 2020 tie against the Indianapolis Colts. But coach Lovey Smith acknowledged that he wants to get Pierce more snaps this week. Pierce played only 29% of the Texan snaps in week one, while Burkhead played 71% of the 70 snaps. Pierce finished with a total of 11 carries for 33 yards and one catch for six. Burkhead, on the other hand, got 14 carries for 40 yards and five catches for 30. It's pretty clear that the rookie brings more energy as a runner, but clearly the Texans trust Burkhead to provide more stability as a blocker and in the passing game too. The way for him to get more snaps will be through improving his blitz pickup and also improving blocking moving forward. This is an area where rookie RBs struggle with. If he's able to develop that facet, then we could definitely see him increase his number of snaps in the coming days. Up next, Jerry Jones thinks there's still hope for the Cowboys. To be honest, fans of the Dallas Cowboys have been down in the dumps after the week one loss, made worse by the thumb injury to Dak Prescott that will sideline the quarterback for several weeks to come. But the injury isn't really the thing causing the grief. The team didn't look too good even before Prescott's injury. To be fair, the offense couldn't generate anything against the Buccaneers. But team owner Jerry Jones hasn't written the season off just yet. In a message to fans, he said that in the football business, things could be looking really bad one day and then really completely turn around the next day, just like that. He went on to explain that the team had a lot of top talent and a fantastic group of coaches working with them. He also said that the team wouldn't be putting Prescott on the injured reserve list and give him the chance to come back within four weeks. This is despite undergoing surgery. And if the Cowboys could just hold the fort until the starting quarterback returned, the season could still be saved. And lastly, there's going to be a new NFL eSports series. The NFL is linking up with Enthusiast Gaming to launch a new eSports series. It's going to be called Tuesday Night Gaming and will feature past and present NFL players, as well as some of the most prominent names in gaming. A rotational roster of 12 NFL players will team up with six gaming creators to take part in a series of a variety of popular games. The teams will go head-to-head -head across three games every week, including popular titles such as Madden NFL 23, Rocket League, and even Fortnite. The NFL players participating include Leonard Fournette, Chauncey Gardner-Johnson, Amon Ross St. Brown, and former players like Brian Arakbo, Deshaun Jackson, and Robert Griffin III. They'll be joining forces with some of the most famous content creators in the gaming world. This will bring together the worlds of football and esports for some really entertaining virtual action. That's a wrap for this video. Do you think Tom Brady's unretirement is a bit strange? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.